Welcome to WebXR Tools. To get started, click Login Register. Put in your name, pick a username, add your email, set your password, agree to the terms of service, and click Register. When you register, you'll be sent an email to verify your email address. If you already have an account, click Login and put your username and password and log into the dashboard. To get started, click Create New Project. Give that project a name. Select the WebAR project type and create project. When the studio loads, you'll notice three sections. The left panel that allows us to configure the different parts of our experience, the center panel, which allows us to preview that part of the experience that we've selected, and the right panel, which allows us to configure this portion of the experience. Here we have the initial landing page for mobile users, but we also support the desktop landing because these experiences are meant to be viewed on mobile, so you can configure what the user sees when they view it from desktop. Next, we have the front camera configuration, which allows you to select from a number of different front camera application types, and the same for the rear camera, so you can choose what kind of experience you're looking to build. We'll start off with the landing page. Here, you can update the background, click and launch the asset manager. You can select a new image. I'm going to leave it purple for now. You can also update the WebXR Tools landing image. This is a good way to communicate to the user what they're about to see when they click the Start Experience button. We can edit the label of the Start Experience button. We can shorten it to just Start. We can update the color, make it green. Actually, I'd probably just keep it white. And then we can choose which camera experience we want to start with, front or rear. Once we've got our mobile landing page configured, Let's move on to the desktop landing page. Here we have the screen that the user sees when they land from desktop. We can update the background, we can change the text, and we can even adjust the size of the QR code. I'm gonna leave the defaults for now. Once you've configured the landing page, you're ready to move on to one of our next guides. Choose which type of experience you'd like to build and check out the guide for it. 